シーポピーポピーポピーポケパササパセワデド Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. First thing that is popping in the news is a very disturbing trend. Well, not a trend, it has been going on for quite a while now. I am speaking about men, women, younger women, younger men, vice versa, that have some sorts of jealous rage. This jealous rage may be because of obsession, may be because they think that their partner is cheating. So therefore, they decide that they are going to get some sorts of revenge. I am going to speak specifically about two incidents. One of them happened maybe about 48 hours ago. It includes two students from the University of the West Indies. And then I am going to speak about a lady that pretty much thought that her common law husband, older people, was cheating on her with the helper or what they call the caretaker. So therefore, she decided that, listen, I am going to go to the gas station, get some gasoline, fling it upon him while he was asleep. So therefore, two very disturbing incidents, two different age category of people. The first one, the incident that occurred at the University of the West Indies. If you look at your screen, this is the youth that allegedly kidnapped Hold him girlfriend hostage for about three days or so while he tortured her using what they call a clothes iron. Now, based on information that I am getting, it is said that the father of this youth, his name is Matthew Hyde. The father's name, the father plays Richard on some sorts of soap opera. I think it is called Royal Palm. He also owns a place that is called Pear Tree Press. This is his mother right here. Her name is Beth Hyde. So therefore, he comes from a privileged, stable family. However, it does not mean that the sun cannot flip. There is a video that is circulating with her showing he did this and then he posted the video telling her, demanding her to put some sorts of apology, put some respect upon his name. In this video, because of YouTube's policy that I cannot show, however, I am going to put in my WhatsApp group, 1-876-894-2711. Text and request the video with the U.S. student, Burn Up The Girl. Do not call me. Do not voice me, um, video call me. Just send a simple text. You want to join the group. Give your name. You want the video. Now in this video, like I said, you could clearly see that this lady, young lady, this is her picture on the screen right here as I speak. She was born up at least 10 times, meaning that he used the iron and impressed upon her while the iron was hot with some sorts of force. Based on the impression from the iron, it was kind of obvious, or in my opinion, it seems as if him also tired up of her under some sorts of bondage. They were not smudged. They were clear as day. You could see the impression of the iron on some of the B-U-R-N-S. May I talk about in the face, under the chin, Upon the side of the jaw, upon the forehead, both hands, upon the back, upon the chest, upon the B-R-E-A-S-T, one of them, upon the A-S-S, the impression was so obvious. This girl is going to be scarred for the rest of her life, unless she does some sorts of professional plastic surgery, and even then, it might not come back to what it was. Very beautiful young lady. Now, when you look at this youth and people, I am just assuming. It is what we call 
the typical look what you would associate with the uptown, him look kind of privileged. The same can be said, and people, it means nothing. I am just giving my opinion, being straightforward. The girl look like she not really known a sorts of suffering herself. When people are privileged and they are young, them just want go school, get them education. Them want educate themselves, then them want party and BS. So therefore, work hard, play hard. They are what we call the generation of young, D-U-M-B, and full of C-U-M. Them now have a problem in this world. Them now have nothing to worry about. They just want to live life, enjoy their life. And if you can, you should. Now, a lot of times what I find the problem is, is that people don't know their partner, whether you are young or whether you are older. So therefore, sometimes you are not compatible. The youth don't know his personality. He might be a little more laid back. This girl, more the party type, because I have several pictures with her, with friends, out dressed in scantily and people. You can do that also. There is no sorts of crime in doing that. It means absolutely nothing. That is how the new generation dress them pretty much have on zero. However, based on the information that I am getting, it is said that the reason, not saying that it is justified, the motive is that she has a girlfriend, an ex, privilege, uptown, nice looking girlfriend, that girlfriend of a man. It is said that her girlfriend, man, this girl that get bun up with the iron, cheated with him. And then the bestie call fear boyfriend and tell him. And then him pretty much get enraged. Go fear the dam, bring her a fame dam, hold her hostage, bandage, whatever you want to call it. K-I-D-N-A-P-P-E-D her. And did, all, and did all of this to her. And then... Wants her or wanted her or made her put out some sorts of apology. He then posted this on social media. Now people, sometimes people get in a relationship and here are the facts. Even when you get married, even when you're older and you get married, there's a thing where them say, until D-E-A-T-H, do we part? Don't take it literally because the facts are this. 50% probably even more of marriages end up in a divorce. End up dissolved in a couple of months, couple of years at best. Sometimes people fall in love and then them pretty much grow for hate each other's G-U-T-S. That is all across the board. Jamaica, America, Anyway, pa massa God earth. So therefore, don't tell yourself that because you are somebody there, it is love eternal. It is going to last until the end of time. Because the chances are, it is not. So therefore, you are supposed to prepare yourself. But like me say, sometimes these people, young, them not have much experience, them obsessive, Maybe she do something to him. Me no know. Blow in mind. Maybe when him got ear say she do this to her next man or assume say if she do this to me, that means say she ought to do that to her next man, a stranger, our best friend man at that. Him feel like say she crossed the line. Here's the next facts about life. Loyalty. People in general. If you have Ten people out there, nine of them, nine and a half ain't S-H-I-T. And half, if the right opportunity comes, that half is going to betray you also. Not saying that there are no loyal persons out there. 
No man or no woman will have one man, one woman, vice versa. However, most people aren't like that. A marriage or a relationship is like a gamble. Don't get in it if you are not prepared to lose. To lose the person that you once love or once love you. People change, people switch up faster than the tide. Now, this youth, this girl, put the iron pan her. She is now emotionally traumatized, scarred. Just imagine what, she's, what is going through her head. She has said to herself, Damn, why am I going to do this or why am I going to get caught? Look what happened to me now. She might even want to blame herself and people. Whatever it is that she did, the truth and the fact is that under the law of Jamaica, you are not supposed to do anything like that. You're not supposed to touch, you're not supposed to lick, you're not supposed to bun bun up anybody, none at all, regardless of what them do. I just, you for tell yourself, say, listen, I just saw life said. But a lot of persons, they cannot accept rejection. Now, like me say, fear of life, I got change. Don't know how long before she gets over it, if any at all. His life is about to change also. He is going to be facing or he is facing. He is going to be charged with some very serious charges. Assault, which means occasioning grievous B-O-D-I-L-Y-H-A-R-M. He might be charged with some sorts of cyber thing. Because he had this girl give a confession under duress. That means an uh, enforcer. He can also be charged with T-E-R-R-O-R-I-S-M if me I spell it right. Because people don't think that these are some little pia pia charges. These are some very serious charges that can get him locked away for a very long, long time. Whether in plea bargain or not. Because based on the severity of what he did. And based on the extent of the damage to this lady's skin. Emotionally. How him traumatize her. The judge might not give him any sorts of discretion. Any sorts of leniency. So people. That was the first case. Case of two. Younger couple. Jealousy, obsession, rage. The second case is actually an incident that occurred from maybe about 2017, 2018. It involves a lady. Her name is Sarita Blair. And her common law husband, his name is Mr. Brown. Kenton Brown to be specific. Based on the information, it is said that Kenton and Sarita, they were together for a few. The man have two pitney. The man have a caregiver. I guess the caregiver would come and take care of the children. At first, the relationship was good. However, like a lot of relationship, trouble in a paradise. Things get from bad to worse to worse. This lady and the man was arguing back and forth several occasions. Them calm down. It would not get to the extreme in which it got on that night of questioning. Based on the information, it is said that this lady just plea guilty. Thursday gone. She plea guilty to going to the gas station, buying some petrol, buying a box of matches. And when this man gone in bed, she fling it upon him and then strike up the matches, fling that upon him too. Obviously, when this happened to you, you are going to jump up. You are going to be confused. And if you know anything about petrol, 
it is no normal sauce of thing. It is flammable. Once it start, everything cover, everything burn up. Me I talk about the worstest degree of B-U-R-N-S that you can get. The lady just stand right over him. Like me says she plead guilty Thursday. Based on what the Popo, a constable that did the interview with this man when he was basically on his D-E-A-T-H bed days before he lost his life, he would succumb to his injury about four days after the incident. So therefore, the Popo, doing their due diligence, did an interview and them asked him what happened and that is when he told them exactly what she did to him and why why she claim it he told her him gone in bed them argue and then him go in bed and then the next thing him know him feel the flames on him body and him see the lady a stand up over him like some sorts of p s y c h o so therefore he gave that statement don't know if you call it a caution statement but it would incriminate his common law wife, the girlfriend, Sarita. Based on Sarita's side of the story, she makes it seem as if the man confronts her. And the reason why he confronts her is because she confronted him and I tell him, say, accusing him that he is sleeping with the caregiver. Them call it El Pa Jamaica back in the days. She never says she see him. She never catch him on a video. She says she feel like. And then when them argue the last time, him tell her forget the H-E-L-L out of him house. So people, it seems as if a this man house don't know the circumstances in which she moving with him or him moving with her. I think that she was pretty much living at his place. So therefore, she would have less of a talk. Not to say that because you are the major breadwinner, you have more talk. But me just I say, you should be careful when people put you up, when you are caught spam people, eyelash, to disrespect them. You understand? Don't get it twisted. I am not saying that anybody supposed a... B-U-S-E-U because they are put you up. But me just say, you should have less of a talk. So she claims that the man I do this. So she go get the thing them. And then, you know what I mean? She fling it upon him and she light it. And of course, you know, the damage was very, very bad. Him go to the hospital. Him dead for four days. And then him lose him life. Luckily, like I said, he gave some sorts of statement. And that statement was used. Forget this lady for confess that, yeah, as she do it. Now, people, when you think about stuff like this and the fact that they've been arguing back and forth, don't know who was right, who initiated, who wrong, who right. However, the fact that she thought about it, she had an opportunity to leave, don't know her financial status, if she couldn't leave or she felt as if she was tied down, don't know if she did some things for him and she feel like he is obligated to her. So therefore, when he asked her to leave, he violated her. But my point is this, that would make it premeditated. The fact that you would do that and then you would stand and watch as if you are some sort of P-S-Y-C-H-O. Me know says she play bargain Thursday. However, I do not expect her to get a whole lot of leniency. Maybe a day or two off. However, based on what she did, she should get the whole brunt of the law. And what makes it even worse, based on what the Popo is saying, when he interviewed the man and the man was talking, the man started to shake like a leaf. He must have stopped the interview. The good thing is that he got him to say who did it to him and how it was done. So it shows you the man was pretty much on his D-E-A-T-H bed when he did the interview. The man was in shock 
The man was disappointed. He could not believe that this lady did this to him. He even told the officer, please make sure I said on a take care of my two picnic. So therefore, he was the sole breadwinner. People, we are speaking about tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. Something is definitely wrong. People in Jamaica have some sorts of mental issue. Jamaica is truly Bellevue Central, the devil's playground. And incidents like these proves older people, younger people, the mentality is still the same. Jealousy, obsession, anger management, rage, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting and sharing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.